You are now listening to Lady Denim. Kick back and enjoy the ride. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Lady Adenum. And today's topic, we're going to be talking about the 13 families. In a world stricken with poverty, man-made viruses, political and government corruption, despondency and shattered dreams, there are individuals who seem to be invisible or untouchable, hiding behind mass amounts of wealth beyond a commoner's drunken stupor of a rich man's fantasy. These individuals are part of 13 specific bloodlines that has been said to be satanic, or a bunch of extraterrestrial reptilian humanoids who get off to being powerful in the most sadistic ways imaginable. These 13 bloodlines are supposedly the reason 8 million children go missing each year globally, and the reason 689 million people are living in extreme poverty. They are master spinsters pulling on the strings of fate in life, responsible for cataclysms of sanguinary wars, causing calamitous, tragic events, such as the demise of the beloved Twin Towers and the sinking of the Titanic, manipulating the stock market's crash causing the Great Depression, and assassinating political or public figures who cut their puppet strings and rebelled such as John F. Kennedy and Bobby Kennedy. These are only a fraction and the tip of the iceberg of nefarious deeds the 13 families have been said to be behind, working through the shadows of darkness. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, it's all a quote-unquote conspiracy theory. <laughs> now come hither, darling. Let me introduce you to the 13 families known to be the most powerful families in the world, who own 99% of the wealth, leaving 1% for the rest of mankind to fight over. You may be familiar with some, but I can assure you, not all of them. Besides, they've intended it to be that way. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, number one, the Aster Bloodline. Their fortune is rooted in the fur trade and came to be centered on real estate investments in New York City. It is also noted that John Jacob Astor IV perished on the Titanic alongside his pregnant wife. Number 2. The Bundy Bloodline There is limited information about them. However, two Bundy brothers had the key positions that controlled most of the information that was fed to U.S. presidents during the Kennedy and Johnson administrations. There also could be a link with the serial killer Ted Bundy. Keep in mind it's not solidified though. Number 3. The Collins Bloodline The Collins family is one of the most powerful families in the world and yet has been able to hide their power and wealth. Not much can be found about them. Number 4. The Dupont Bloodline The Dupont family is a royal dynasty, having a very public image but a totally hidden life. The Duponts have better control over the press's coverage of them than the British royal family. They are the founders of the Dupont Chemical Company and they have been involved in breeding and racing of thoroughbred racehorses, as well as establishing racehorse venues and training tracks, including Delaware Park and Fairhill, Maryland. Number 5. The Freeman Bloodline A family never thought of as a top 13, but the more you read into the 13 bloodlines, their name pops up frequently. One family member who is named Stephen M. Freeman runs the Legal Affairs Department of the Civil Rights Division of the Anti-Defamation League. Number 6. The Kennedy Bloodline Another powerful and prominent family birthing John F. Kennedy and Bobby Kennedy who were both assassinated for being free thinkers. They also had strong ties politically and with the Mafia. Number 7. The Li bloodline. Originating from China, their financial empire extends worldwide, 
with an estimated net wealth of 29.4 billion U.S. dollars, and the family has strong ties with the Triads. Number eight, the Onassis bloodline. The Onassis family was one of the top three merchant families in Smyrna. Aristotle Onassis amassed great wealth that started at 23 and was a very successful shipping tycoon. He married John F. Kennedy's widowed wife, Jackie Kennedy. It's also noted that Tom Cruise derives from this bloodline. Number nine, the Rockefeller bloodline. The Rockefeller family's fortune began in 1870 when John D. Rockefeller founded Standard Oil. Their influence and control is powerful, and it helped determine who will get publicity in the major news magazines such as Time magazine. Rockefeller played a part in funding World War II by selling oil to Hitler to keep World War II going longer, and they were also involved in the creation of the FBI. Number ten. The Russell bloodline. The Russell family has been around for a very long time, yet not so many people know of them. This family is responsible for starting the Skull and Bones Order, the Pilgrim Society, the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, as well as the Masonic Daughter of Isabella. Number eleven. The Van Dyne bloodline. The Van Dyne family has been a prominent family way before immigrating to the New World. And has kept an extremely low profile ever since. Even to this day, information on this family is scarce. However, the Van Dyne name is known in Western United States because of the Van Dyne chocolate candies. In 1933, one family member who is named Edward Segan Van Dyne founded the Planned Parenthood Center of Syracuse, New York. Number twelve. The Rothschild bloodline. The Rothschild family is the most famous of European banking dynasties, dating back as a banking house to the late 18th century. They also had considerable economic influence in Europe during the 19th and 20th centuries. The Rothschild family believe money is what makes the world go round. If you have money, you can do anything, and to them, money is God. They dictate what the price of gold will be, and what the Federal Reserve System will do with America's finances. The Rothschilds and Rockefellers are said to have close ties with each other, which comes to no surprise since the Rockefellers lend a hand to Hitler during World War II, and Hitler is said to be of the Rothschild bloodline. And finally, number thirteen, the Merovingian bloodline. This particular family is almost like a phantom in the shadows, unlike the well-known Rockefellers, Rothschilds, and Kennedy bloodlines, which many people are aware of and often mistaken them to be the most powerful of all. But the Merovingian family history is given in dust, yet is said to be the most wealthy and powerful. This family is the thirteenth bloodline. And is supposedly the seed of Satan. Although there isn't much about this bloodline, one thing is certain: it stems from Egypt. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now that you've become acquainted with the nefarious bunch, there is far more information out there that I obviously couldn't fit into this episode. If I did, honey, it would be a movie, and I certainly wouldn't want you drooling all over yourself. But I hope I've planted the seeds of inspiration and curiosity deep within your precious minds. Now go, quench the thirst of knowledge you seek, and remember, they are always watching. Thank you for listening. You can follow my Insta at the Lady of Denim Podcast underscore. You can follow my main Insta and Twitter at a Denim Arm.、Um. Be sure to like and follow my Facebook page at the Lady of Denim Podcast. Until next time, darling.